Well, uh, my day job is, is to do research in space science and also to teach physics and astronomy. So to me, uh, photography is, a, is an avenue for expressing the artistic side of me and kind of to balance the physics side of my brain. I'd say for the last 15 years, I've been extremely serious about photography. I have my own website. I do exhibitions. I sell my photos. Um, so um, it's, it's really stepped up a notch since, uh, you know, it, it used to be just a simple hobby. Well, infrared photography is based on the principle that uh, you can take pictures not with just the light that our eyes see, but with the entire spectrum of light, which actually goes all the way from x-rays, like we have in the doctor's offices, to radio waves and everything else. Well, uh, we're doing an experiment to show how different um, infrared photographs of a scene can be from color photographs. And I've set up my tripod in front of Royce Hall off to the side. And it's already a pretty hot summer's day, so there's no clouds in the sky and the light's already pretty harsh. But we're going to see how that even such a harsh environment is good for taking infrared pictures. And so I'm going to go ahead and snap a few. One second while I figure this out. Um, usually go, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And so this is the result we get with a infrared camera. Objects that are warm or hot reflect a lot of infrared or give off a lot of infrared. And objects that are cold uh, don't give off as much uh, infrared. So uh, when we're doing infrared photography, we're all almost taking a map of what's warm and what's cold in the picture that we're taking. I think I'm going to go with one of the closest. Photography is definitely a passion. And being able to, and, and my photography is mostly landscape photography, so, so having the opportunity to be in nature at spectacular times, you know, a clearing storm from, you know, Yosemite Valley or being, say, at Zion National Park. I was there a couple of months ago and being there for sunrise when that first light of day hits the rocks and, and stays with you, not just the rest of the day, but for months and months and months afterwards. Every time you see that image, you remember that hike in the darkness to that viewpoint where you were sitting there and waiting until the sun rose and, and illuminated the scene. So, so it's definitely uh, getting away from the uh, runaround of life and being able to be in nature and more importantly to be able to share that feeling, that emotion with everyone else that couldn't be there. If the landscape is cooperating, if the light is good, it's a feeling of elation, it's a feeling of wow and I'm so happy I'm here to be able to capture this. Uh, you know, if, if, I'm seeing, if I'm sitting in my office and I go out for a walk and I see a really nice sunset, I always think, okay, you know what, I'm stuck in my office today. What if I was in such and such place and I saw this sunset? So to be there and actually, you know, record that scene and see it with my own eyes, I think that's the best feeling you can get from photography.